Hello everyone, this is Manak from Civil Center and I welcome all of you back to our channel. So friends, uh, I made this video to inform all of you that we are making a new video series. As you had seen that, we had earlier uploaded a plan explanation of size 20 feet into 36 feet which is basically a small sized house plan. And now we are going to make a complete package of that plan that is the 3D view and the structural drawings. So the 3D view as you can see there is a beautiful background of a building here. So it's looking so good as you can see. So it's looking good because it has some designs. The designs are very simple but the designs were done beforehand with the help of uh, 3D modeling software. So 3D views of the building will discuss and I will also discuss with you the structural drawings. So today in this video I will discuss the structural drawing of the plan of size 20 feet into 36 feet. So, before starting the discussions, uh, I want to discuss all of you the importance of structural drawing. So basically, the planning of a building is the prime thing or the first thing which we need to do before you want to construct your house. So after your plan is complete, you know the sizes of different rooms, the orientation and the placement of different rooms. And after that, you need to get a structural drawing. So structural drawing is basically the sizes of all the members or the structural members. So what are the structural members? The structural members in an RCC building or reinforced concrete building are beams. Okay, let us start from the bottom. So at the bottom from the bottom is foundation and then your column and then beams after beams, slabs and staircase. So these are the structural members. So these are these are designed using any uh, software modeling and design analysis and design stop software so after that we get the results after applying the suitable loads so so why this design is important because randomly we can give make a structure over reinforced or we can give uh, more number of size like uh, if we give a column energy plus one 400 into 400 so it will automatically be um, passed the building will be safe but it will be uneconomical and another thing to be considered is that the reinforcement quantity so in every structural member like any in any beam for example there are reinforcement or rod which you say in a local language so rod should be given such that it is the main structural member passes so it doesn't fail upon the application of any earthquake wind live or dead load as per our codes and it is also economical that is we provide that much only which is necessary not extra if we provide extra then it will be not economically viable for our clients so as you know that in any construction or any building construction the major cost is of concrete and steel concrete and reinforcement steel so if we if you go for the structural drawings with the help of any consultant any structural consultant then you will get a drawing which is customized to take optimum amount of loads that is you will get the sizes of the structural members sizes of the structural members and reinforcement up to which up to the mark which is necessary not extra so it will be economical for you and it will save your project cost for example let's say in a g plus one building uh, we need uh, for uh, say suppose say for 1400 square feet area we need uh, 14 numbers of columns and in these 14 numbers of columns if we can design structurally and if we can uh, reduce the cost of concrete and uh, steel say up to 5% also the cost of the project will get reduced dramatically so we'll see that we'll show you that in our upcoming videos by uh, live calculations also so let's move forward and uh, see the structural drawings basically the components of the structural drawing as we had told you are the st components structural components and we'll have the schedule of the structural components that is we'll have the sizes and the reinforcement used in them and we'll have our layout in the layout we will see the placement where the structural members are placed like the foundation layout will have will have the beam column layout will have the plain beam layout will have the reinforcement detailing of the slab and the reinforcement details of the foundation so these things will have or will include in our drawing and also will give insert some sections through for the help of the contractor or the engineer or the owner of the site which will execute the actual plan so let's move forward and uh, hope you will guys like it 
so friends now we will discuss all the components or all the structural components one by one so let's start with our foundation layout so let me zoom in as you can see here so this is the foundation layout of the plan as you can see there are one two three four five six seven eight nine so there are nine number of columns and there are nine number of foundations so we have given isolated footing here and you can see here the center to center distance between all these columns i have been mentioned so as you can see here the center to center distance of all the columns are mentioned and the foundations mark are given that is we have foundation f2 we have foundation f3 and we have a foundation of mark f1 so the details of these three types of marks can be found in our foundation schedule so let's go to our foundation schedule now moving on here you can see our foundation schedule or the schedule of our footing so i have zoomed in to into the schedule of footing so now as you can see here there are three types of foundation marks f1 f2 and f3 and all these three foundation marks details have been given first column let us find out here footing size is given so the footing size of f1 is 850 into 850 which means the two dimensions of the footing are 850 into 850 and the depth of the footing is 250 so all the three dimensions of the footing are given now what will be the reinforcement in the footing so the reinforcement in the footing is 10t at the rate 175 center to center along xx and 10t at the rate 175 center to center along yy so 10 mm reinforcement will be used in the footing at a spacing of 175 mm center to center similarly all the details of all other footing have been given here now let us find out a representation a visual representation of how it will look like what is xx what is yy as you can see here this is a typical plan of footing f2 so let us check the size of the f2 it is 1050 into 1050 the depth is 300 and the reinforcement is 10 mm reinforcement at the rate 175 mm center to center so it's good let's check the typical plan of the footing of f2 so as you as we had seen the schedule there is 1050 into 1050 the two dimensions and 10t at the rate 175 center to center as you can see here this if you consider as this as the x direction so it's 10t at the rate 175 center to center along the x direction and along the y direction it is 10t at the rate 175 center to center both so both the spacing of this reinforcement are the same along both the x and the y so here you can see the typical plan of footing f2 and here we have the section so we have cut a section here that is a section cc now in the section you can see here the depth of the footing as you had saw here the depth of the footing was f2 was 300 here the depth is visible and below that depth there is a pcc as you can see here pcc of 75 mm and sand filling of 100 mm as pcc and sand filling are done in the excavation or the after the excavation of the footing for the footing so as you can see here the depth below the ground level of the footing is 1.2 meters and the depth of the footing is 300 mm and here after that we have reinforcement along both the directions that is 10t at the rate 175 center to center along the x direction and 10t at the rate at the rate 175 center to center along the y direction so here hope you guys uh, understood this schedule of the footing now moving on we'll just move forward and then discuss about the next component which is our plane beam so as you can see here this is the plinth beam layout i've zoomed in so this, this is the plane beam layout and in the plane beam layout as you can see here all the marks of the beam are given given and also the center to center distance between two different beams have also been given as you can see here we have plane beams of marks pv1 and pv2 so there are two types of plane beams here and also you can also find the column positions and column marks also visible here as we had seen in the case of foundation now here you can see here one beam has been shown as dotted so as you can see the zoomed so this beam has been shown as dotted so what is it let us find out we'll just find out in our 
plane beam schedule let us move forward to the plane beam schedule here here you can see here there are two types of plane beams it is pb1 which is size of 250 into 300 and there is pv2 which is size of 230 into 300 so two footings of sizes 230 into 300 have been given so the reinforcement let us check out now the reinforcement two types of reinforcements are given one is continuous and one is extra reinforcement so this continuous reinforcement are two numbers of bars of 12 mm diameter both at the top and the bottom they are provided as continuous bars and extra reinforcement is both at the start and the end is provided at the top portion so the extra reinforcement at the start and the end is provided at the top and the extra reinforcement at the center is provided at the bottom so why this is provided we'll discuss in another video this is basically a concept of bending moments so these extra reinforcements are provided and the shear reinforcement which is also called uh, ties in case of beams sorry it is also is called stirrup in case of beams and it is called ties in case of columns it is 8 mm ties at the rate 150 mm center to center near the supports and at the center the spacing is little more that is 8 mm at the rate 175 mm center to center so this is the detail of pb1 similarly we have also the detail of pb2 so now let's see a visual representation and try to explain all of you the schedule so as you can see here this is the typical section of plane beam 1 the two numbers of bars as you can see here 2 not 12 all through so two number of bars of 12 mm will go all through in the entire section and extra reinforcement as you had seen as i told you that two bars of 12 mm of extra reinforcement both at the start and the end will be given at the top so now it is the it is the as you can see here it is the start and here we have provided reinforcement as you can see here this reinforcement has been provided two numbers of bars of 12 mm which is extra both at the ends and at the start so how much portion will be provided extra reinforcement this is 1.1 l so if it is the l is basically the center to center distance between this uh, span so 0.1 l distance from the end of the column the extra reinforcement is provided for the top and here from this area or from the ends it is taken up to a distance of 0.3 l so up to 0.3 l two numbers of bars of 12 mm extra will be provided from the ends and two numbers of bars of 12 mm extra will be provided from 0.1 l from the starting sides and two bars of 12 mm will be provided all through so these were the reinforcement details of the top and in the bottom as you can see here in the bottom two numbers of 12 mm bars will be provided all through and extra reinforcement will be provided for two numbers one number of bar of 12 mm so in how much portion this extra reinforcement will be provided so we leave a portion of 0.15 l from this side and 0.25 l from the, this side the remaining portion will provide the reinforcement the extra reinforcement of 12 mm so let us discuss about the stirrups the stirrups as you can see here 8 mm stirrups at the rate 157 mm center to center will be provided near the ends and 8 mm stirrups at the rate 175 mm center to center distance will be provided near the center so this is the plane beam schedule and moving on we have the beam column layout so here also the beam column layout has been given here we have beams of marks b1 b2 and b3 and we also have some hidden beams here or which is also called concealed beams so the concealed beam are represented as cb so we'll discuss these details of this in the schedule so let us move forward to our beam schedule the format of the beam schedule is also the same as a plane beam schedule so as you can see here the different sizes of b1 b2 b3 and we also have the reinforcement here we also have the steer reinforcement or stirrups here now let us have a look at the conceal beam so we made a video on the conceal beam conceal beam is basically a beam which th the thickness of which is equal to the thickness of the slab so the, if the slab, slab thickness is 100 mm the conceal beam thickness will be 100 mm which is exactly in this case 230 into 100 so the depth of the beam is 100 mm 
which is equal to that that of the slab and the width is 230 mm the, it is provided for any secondary wall so as you can see here the top reinforcement and the bottom reinforcement provided in the conceal beam three numbers of 12 mm bars is provided all through both at the top and the bottom in case of the conceal beam and shear reinforcement is also the same that is 8 mm bars of 150 mm center to center near the supports and 8 mm bars at the rate 175 center to center near the ends so this is the beam schedule as we have discussed now let us move forward and discuss our column layout so in this beam column layout as you can see here we have provided separate beam column layouts for the second floor as well the concept is same here so we'll skip that portion let us now look at the column schedule so as you've seen from the light right from the foundation layout we had given the mark of the columns there so we have provided two numbers of columns or two types of marks of columns the sizes of the columns are 213 to 230 and 300 into 230 so these two sizes of the columns have been provided now the reinforcement let us discuss of c1 in c and c1 reinforcement up to ground floor we have provided four numbers of 12 mm bars as main reinforcement so ground floor and first floor have the same reinforcement that is four number of bars of 12 mm as the main reinforcement or the longitudinal reinforcement as we call it and we have also provided a transverse reinforcement of 8 mm cent at the rate 175 center to center for the ties so these are the column schedule and in c2 we have provided four numbers of bars of 16 mm and uh, the specifications for our tie is also the same 8 mm at the rate 175 center to center so this is the typical schedule of our columns we have our what do we have extra we have our section this is a typical section of the concealed beam as you can see here the depth of the concealed beam is equal to 100 mm and the width is 230 mm and three numbers of 12 mm bars both at the top and the bottom have been provided now the beam schedule which we had already discussed and these are also the section of the beams which you can see to understand it better as you can see here let us discuss this uh, section of the plain beam here as you can see in the section xx so in this section xx as you can see only the extra reinforcement of the top will be visible as well as the all through reinforcement which is going at the top and the bottom so the extra reinforcement will be visible here as you can see here two numbers of bars of 12 mm extra will be visible but the extra reinforcement of bottom is not visible because it has not started yet and this you can see section yy in section yy as you can see it is cut at the center so the extra reinforcement of the bottom will be visible but the extra reinforcement of near the ends will not be visible here so you can see here the extra reinforcement of the bottom which is one number of bar of 12 mm is visible here but the extra reinforcement which is provided at the starting and the end to the top portion of the beam has not visible so this is the section this is the way to read the section of the beam so let us also discuss the reinforcement details of the slab here so as you can see here the slab reinforcement details or the have been given here and we have provided reinforcement of 8 mm at the rate 150 center to center along you can say along the direction one direction and 8 mm at the rate 125 center to center along the other direction so two types of reinforcement we have provided at the bottom you can see and two types of reinforcement we have provided at the top at the top we have provided reinforcement of 8 mm at the rate 150 center to center in one direction and 8 mm at the rate 175 center to center along the other direction so these two types of reinforcement for slabs we have provided as you can see here we'll discuss more about the reinforcement of slab in the upcoming videos so friends how did you find this video please let us know in our comment section and if you want more such videos stay tuned to our channel also do subscribe this is Maynard signing off bye bye